Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of EUL Colors of the Rainbow. Today, I have very lovely and very important guests uh, uh, with here with me today. I have got the International Student Club Committee. Welcome, everybody. Well, thank, thank, you. You. thank you for being here with us. Uh, what we will do is we will start introducing our friends and their positions within the uh, International Student Club Committee, and we will have a very lovely discussion on how they were formed and what they have been doing for the past academic year for our students. Okay, now first of all, Murad, let's start with you. Can you introduce yourself to our audience, please? Yeah, my name is Murad. I'm uh, the president of the International Students Club. Um, I'm studying civil engineering. Uh, almost graduating in my fourth year. And which nationality are oh, you? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm from Jordan. Okay. Jordan. Very nice. And George, let's continue on with you. My name is George Asiki Breed. I'm from Nigeria, a patriotic African. Uh -huh. I study public administration. And in my third year, uh-huh and your I, position in the in my the club? position in the club i'm the vice president of international student club thank you and aida let's continue on with you um my name is aida i am from kazakhstan um i am on my third year now mm -hmm. uh, i'm studying international relations and uh, i am the secretary of the international student club very nice and nuno um my name my school name is Nundogosomshanga, but my name is nono I am in my second year and I'm studying economics and I'm the accountant for the club and I'm Zimbabwean. Very nice, very Thank nice. You. Thank you all for being here, first of all. Um, as uh, the director of the International Affairs, uh, it was a very honor for me to, take, uh, to be a part of the International Club as your uh, leader, uh, not I should say leader, but advisor. Um, so I have been with you since day one. Um, and let's share with our audience the, the, the very first step that we took, how we formed the International Student Club and what we did and what we plan on doing for the future as well because it's all in chain reaction, it's all one connection to another. So um, Murad, let's start with you. Um, now, before we start forming uh, and giving information on forming the club, I just want to let our audience know that um, in order for us to form the club, more sufficiently and effectively, what we decided to do was um, take one representative from each region in order to be able to run within the club uh, committee. So what we did is we decided that we would take one student who would deal with the Arab-speaking uh, countries, one or two maybe from the African-speaking, you know, African side of uh, the world, uh, one from CIS countries, and one from uh, the Asian countries such as uh, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, uh, Sri Lanka, and so on and so forth. And, and, and that's how we actually formed the club. Now, uh, there are more committee members uh, within our club, but uh, I decided to take these uh, ladies and gentlemen as the top members of the committee. They are the, uh, the main organs of the actual committee itself. So um, let's talk about that. So once we formed the actual committee, once all the students elected their representative, we all got together and let's take it from there, Murad. What did we do after that? Uh, the club was has some goals to do. Our goals was to gather all the, the international students, mm -hmm. to have uh, a representative for them, mm -hmm. communicating among them and the university, mm -hmm. uh, organizing stuff and uh, celebrating some uh, occasions. Mm -hmm. it, sometimes it was like their own country's occasions, mm -hmm. sometimes it was during the university. Right. We had some of them inside the campus. We mm -hmm. organized some outside even we uh, got involved in some um, uh, festivals happened in the area like right. the Lifkin festivals, Yeshilermark festivals. Right. We had like, um, how can I put it in words? It was the first part where international students get together, mm -hmm. sit on a table, got some decisions, we want this, we want that. Mm -hmm. During it, we had some fun doing the other occasions. It right. was 
the whole idea. It was the whole, the whole idea of the club. The international It's to student help the club. international students okay. living their life in Cyprus. Right, or in right, right. And George, um, <clears throat> how did we elect, let's talk about that, among ourselves. What did we do to elect the actual committee itself? So, um, you know, like how did we decide, okay, uh, You know, Murad's going to be president, George is going to be vice president, and Ida's going to be secretary, Nuno's going to deal with accounting. How did it, that all form together? Can you give us a little bit of information on that? No, thank you for wanting to hear from me. It is so obvious that even the international office, which you are the director, has some criteria of nominating people. Right. When I came in 2002, I observed that people serve freely, willingly. Mm -hmm. And I think and I see that with the office of the International Student Club, sorry, the International Office, you saw and you see how people have been working tirelessly, mm -hmm. how people have been working immensely on their own to support mm -hmm. the international affairs. Mm -hmm. So first of all, I see that as one of the criteria to the International Office in which they use it to nominate. Right. So I was one of the nominees coming together to meet with all the nominees. Mm -hmm. There was a due process of election. Mm -hmm. For me being the vice president, I passed through election. Right. Which all the officials were there mm -hmm. to observe. Mm -hmm. We vote. I was voted for. Right. After the nominee for the continent, I was voted for to be the president, the vice president. If Ajumina was not voted for, I can't be the vice president. We did not nominate each other, mm -hmm. neither I was nominated to be a vice president. Right. It was through due election, due process. Okay. That is how all things have been done and how that is how I, become, I became the vice president. Excellent. So what you're saying is, Uh, you formed together and each one of you elected each other yes. to become a specific member within the committee, yes. right? Yes. And I do believe, no, no, that because you are studying in economics, we decided to maybe uh, appoint you or, and, and vote for you, you know, and we all voted in favor for you to be the accountant yes. of yes, yes, yes. the committee, you know, and, and Ida, um, you as Uh, a secretary uh, uh, have a very big position in the uh, in the committee. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about your responsibilities? Because I know there's a lot of burden on the secretary, you know, uh, within the committee. What are your responsibilities? Um, the main responsibility is to keep everyone updated. Right. So, for example, if there's any change, any decision that we took, I mm -hmm. have to, uh, you know, make it known for every uh, for every member. member. Uh -huh. Yes. And uh, what else? And I also, uh, you know, help as much as I can to the president. And right. also, yes. Uh, If there is any event, mm -hmm. if any or one of the members wants, for example, to organize something, mm -hmm. first of all, they uh, write to me, mm -hmm. and so that I propose this to uh, everyone. Right. So. so you're the organizing person of the actual club itself, right? And I do believe that you take minutes in every meeting that you do, that you make yes, sure that you take the minutes and everything. Mm -hmm. Very well, very well. And Nunu, if Uh, there's any money involved, then you're the right person. Is <laughs> yeah. that correct? <laughs> yeah, that's correct. <laughs> okay. And was it difficult for you to do something like this, or did it, did it act? Uh, let's say like this. Did it? Uh, did you learn anything? You know, uh, on the way of you know, uh, organizing and everything. Ha was it a good experience for you? Yeah. Firstly, I would like to say that it has been such a great experience and honor for me. I've learned a lot, and mm -hmm. I really enjoyed during the process. Mm -hmm. At first, I thought it was going to take up a lot of my time and mm -hmm. everything because I'm very bad at commitment. But because it was a fun experience, I just was learning. It was so much fun. And we had a number of events mm -hmm. that we had, like independent e independence events. Mm -hmm. We had the Kazakhstan event. They planned it themselves, but with the help of the international student body. It was so much fun for all those who came with the Zimbabwe independence, mm -hmm. with the Nigerian independence. And we had um, the first, um, like, I can call it a party. Mm -hmm. It was the Mother's Day party. Mother's Day. Yeah, Women's Day party. Women's Day. Yeah, okay. Women's yeah. Day party. It was 
nicely organized and it was all thanks to Aida actually. It was no, really it so was much everyone, fun. Everyone, everyone. <laughs> yeah. So, yes. so I, see, I see the smiles on your faces and that's good. Sure. I mean, that's a positive response and, and, um, and I'm sure there were stressful moments during the whole <laughs> sure. year, you know, organizing and everything. But um, I think it, uh, it has really been a good experience for you and, and you, you sharing this actually proves that. Okay, so Murad, let's continue on with you. Um, what do you do? You are, do you have any plans for maybe after exams, uh, or is that it? Everybody's going home now. Well, I have the next two days for sleep. <laughs> 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 I did not have enough sleep last week. Yeah, I'm sure you all did into studying for exams. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I'm I'm planning like together. Maybe it's our last days in mm -hmm. this period of the International Students Club. Mm -hmm. I'm planning like to do something like. Uh, as they say, like it's once and for all the last thing that we right. can do the club as for the international students and some of plans like each like among of the members of us. Right. It's been one year, so yeah, we have to do something among us and among the students, like and that's it. And okay. I hope people would like us. Okay. <laughs> well, I think you guys did a wonderful job, and you will surely get a good feedback if a lot of people show up in your last event as well. Um, because I think that all the students are actually very tired and, you know, some want to go s home straight after um, because they, that's the only way that they can relax. Some students like to enjoy the hot weather and the beach and, and everything before they leave. So, I mean, it might be a good idea to organize something before you go. Um, what about next year? Are you planning to run again if you had the chance for next year? Yes. Uh, George? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice question. Uh, like I said, <laughs> like I said from the beginning, it is true true process. I right. cannot say on my own that I want to run again. I want to be the vice president. Right. If the people I represent wants me back, mm -hmm. definitely I'm there to serve. Excellent. And I want to serve. Okay. Because I love the university. One more thing, you know, as a public administration student, I see this thing as my high team, like something I cannot get from the classroom. Excellent. See, when I'm in the organization, I learn a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm preparing for my future challenges, mm -hmm. which I um, hope to meet soon. So if I have the opportunity to serve, I will serve. Excellent. Excellent. In the next year, too. Excellent. And this is exactly what I want to hear from yeah. you as well. Very good. That means that we are definitely on the right track. <laughs> <laughs> and how about you, Ida? Uh, has it taught you anything, uh, this whole position throughout the committee? I mean, are you happy with what you did this semester, or will you never do it again? I mean, some people, it's, no, you know. No, no. Um, yes, I'm actually very happy because uh, my department is also international relations. It mm -hmm. involves speaking before the public, you know, mm -hmm. also, you know, uh, saying your own opinion. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, so I think it's very important because you, you have to always speak with the people, you, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's a great experience. Excellent. 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 And how about you, Nono? Are you here for the summer or will you go home? Uh, I think I'm around for summer. Uh -huh. I'm planning on working. Ah, you're yeah, planning I, on working. I work, so I'm planning on resuming Continuing. next week, yeah. Ah, excellent. Thank okay. You. All right. Well, thank you very much uh, for your words, and thank you very much for sharing. Um, and <clears throat> I want to talk a little bit about, before we close up for the, uh, this uh, episode, I, I want to talk about uh, what we did academically. Um, did we manage to do any kind of international conferences and seminars this semester, or are we planning on doing for next semester? Murad, do you have anything to say about this? This year, about the seminars. Mm -hmm. uh, so many seminars our university uh, hosted, mm -hmm. but none of them was directed from our club. Right. We have in our agenda for the next year mm -hmm. period, mm -hmm. either if we were elected or another students were elected mm -hmm. for the uh, International Student Club, that we are hoping to get some seminars and to call some people from abroad, abroad yes. to bring them to the university yes. and help in some various uh, departments. Like okay. either it could be engineering department or public mm -hmm. administration mm -hmm. or like even tourism. Tourism, so yes. So international students could get some information from another universities and right. other experiences and mm -hmm. I think it would be a good idea if yes. we could yes. do it. I think, I think, you know, as an advisor of the International Student Club, my <coughs> dream I think I shared this with you before, and I would like to share with my audience as well, is um, I would, 
my dream would be to actually hold an international festival, not just about our own festival, but an international festival, a platform where we can invite students from all around the world. I think that would be an ideal thing, mm -hmm. and and uh, you know maybe in the years to come, um, short term, uh, short term hopefully we can actually manage to organize this, and I think with the International Student Club this can be very possible, you know yeah, because so, you yeah. are beautiful young, uh, energetic, intelligent students that are well capable of organizing such an event. And I do believe that this would be a very good idea for the international student body as well. Don't you think? Yes, yes. sure. Definitely. Okay. Well, thank you very much again for being here. I congratulate you for doing such a wonderful job uh, as the committee members. And, and hopefully we'll have the same success for next academic year. So, but whether you're in the committee or you're not in the committee, I know now that you know what it's all about. And even if it's from outside, you can give the support to the International Student yeah, Club, sure. which is very important. Okay, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, another episode of the EUL International Colors of the Rainbow. Thank you for sharing uh, your time with us. I hope you enjoyed the show, and we'll see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Go! Go!